Okay, I am so, so excited about today's recipe. We are making a rich, dense, and super moist vanilla bundt cake. It has the most perfectly tender crumb, a wonderful buttery flavor, and is topped with a simple vanilla glaze that adds just the right touch of sweetness. I promise you're going to love it. So to start off, you wanna set your oven rack in the lower third of the oven, preheat your oven to 180C or 350F conventional, and very generously grease a 12 cup bundt pan. I highly recommend either flouring the pan after greasing it, or use a baking spray or cake release like I'm using that has flour in it. This will just help to make sure that your bundt cake comes out in one piece once it's ready. Now you just wanna pop your pan aside for now, and next we're going to sift together our dry ingredients. So I've got 300 grams or two and a quarter cups of plain all-purpose this flour, 60 grams or half a cup of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And then using a whisk, give that a good mix until it's well combined. Okay, now you just want to pop your dry ingredients aside for now. And next in a large bowl, add in 227 grams or one cup of a room temperature unsalted butter, 52 grams or a quarter cup of unflavored vegetable oil, I use canola oil, and 450 grams or two and a quarter cups of white granulated sugar. And then using a hand or stand mixer on a medium high speed, cream that for three minutes until it's light and fluffy. Now next we're going to add in our secret ingredient, which is honestly going to make for the most beautifully tender bundt cake with heaps of flavor as well. And that is 226 grams or one cup of a room temperature cream cheese. And you wanna make sure that you're using a firm cream cheese, not the spreadable type. And you just wanna mix that in until it's well combined. You also just wanna make sure that you're scraping down the bowl every now and then, just to make sure that you know everything's mixing well. Now next you wanna add in six large room temperature eggs, two eggs at a time, making sure that each batch of eggs are mixed in well before adding in the next. It's super important that your eggs are at room temperature, otherwise you may end up with a super curdled batter in the end, which we don't want. You also wanna make sure that you aren't over mixing the eggs, so only mix them in until they're kind of well combined and the batter is nice and smooth. Now once all the eggs are mixed in well, then next you wanna add in one tablespoon of vanilla and mix that in until well combined. Okay, now you just wanna get all of that batter off of your attachments because the rest of the mixing we're gonna be doing by hand. So to finish off the batter, you wanna add in half of the pre-sifted dry ingredients from earlier and fold that in with a spatula until just combined. Next, you wanna add in 120 grams or half a cup of room temperature whole milk and fold that in until just combined. Make sure that your milk is at room temperature. And then you wanna finish off by adding in the remaining dry ingredients and fold that in until just combined and the batter is nice and uniform. You wanna make sure that you can't see any streaks of unmixed flour and everything looks you know, evenly mixed, making sure to scrape the bottom and sides of the bowl as you mix, but be careful not to over mix though. So once it looks evenly mixed, you wanna stop there. Okay, so that is our batter all done and now you just wanna pour this into our prepared bundt pan from earlier. Now once all the batter is in, you just wanna give the tin a little shake to help get the batter into all of the corners, and then drop the cake tin lightly on the counter twice to get rid of any large air bubbles. And now this is going to go into the oven for 50 to 55 minutes, or until a skewer inserted into the thickest part of the cake comes out clean, or with a few moist crumbs on it. Now I do recommend just quickly checking the cake at around the 40 minute mark. Don't try and check if it's done, you just wanna check if the top is over browning. And if it looks like it is browning too much, then you can cover the top with some aluminium foil for the remainder of the cook time. Try not to take the cake completely out of the oven though when you cover the top, but you know, if you do have to take it out of the oven, then you just wanna do this very quickly because you don't want too much cold air getting to the cake. 
So my vanilla bundt cake is all done now. It honestly smells so, so incredible. You wanna let it cool in the pan for about 45 minutes just to give it some time to firm up a little. If you try and take it out too early, then it may break. So you really just wanna be patient here. Then about 45 minutes later, you wanna invert the pan onto a wire rack and the bundt cake should just pop right out. Now, how incredible does this bundt cake look? It's just the most spectacular, beautiful design. Now, if your bundt cake just, you know, won't come out, even if you try and give a little shake and it just won't budge, then what you can do is you can get a thin knife and kind of poke it into the outer edge and the inner edge of the bundt pan. And this should just help to kind of release the cake and, you know, then try and turn it out and hopefully it comes out. Now, you just want to let this completely cool. It may take another kind of half an hour to an hour. And then once it's ready, you want to transfer your cake to your cake stand or serving plate and then we're going to make our simple vanilla glaze to go on the top. So for the glaze you're going to need 240 grams or two cups of powdered sugar and to that you want to add in two teaspoons of melted unsalted butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of milk. I like to first just add two tablespoons of milk, give that a good mix and then add more milk if I need it. I usually need about three tablespoons and then you just want to mix that in until you get a nice thick glaze that's still somewhat runny like this. You want it to kind of sit on top of the glaze and not kind of immediately kind of fall back into it. Otherwise your glaze is going to just be a little bit too runny. Now if you accidentally end up with a glaze that is just a little bit too thick, then you can just add in a little bit more milk. Or if it's too thin, then just add in a little bit more powdered sugar. And then you basically just want to spread all of that glaze over the top of the cooled cake. Now, how amazing does this cake look? So, so beautiful. And now you just want to let that glaze set for about half an hour to an hour, and then it is ready to slice and serve. Whenever I slice into this cake and pull out a piece, I am honestly in awe of how beautiful the crumb looks. It's tender, moist, and the cake itself has such a wonderful flavor to it. It's a dense yet soft and moist cake that honestly goes perfectly with a cup of coffee or tea. Mmm, this cake is honestly so, so, so good. Usually vanilla cakes can, you know, be a little bit boring, but this just has such amazing flavor to it. And the crumb of this cake is just incredible. And I love that little bit of extra vanilla glaze on the top. It just adds a wonderful touch of sweetness to the cake, but it's not overpowering, so it still lets the kind of, you know, nice vanilla flavor of the cake come through. <laughs> so that is it for today, guys. If you do decide to give this beautiful bundt cake a go, then then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.